Hello everybody! Hi! Hi and welcome to Clarendon Fine Arts and Whitewall Galleries. Hope you're all very well. Uh, for those of you that I haven't met, I am Chelsea. I am the Gallery Director of our Clarendon Fine Arts Kings Road Gallery. We've got a very exciting evening coming up. We have Christian Hook joining us all the way from his home in Gibraltar. And he is going to be showing us a selection of his works from the Newton series Sahara collection, as well as two other works from a sort of self-isolation series. He will not only be doing that, but talking to us about a very exciting project, the documentary that he's been working on. So just letting everyone come in. Hi guys. Hello everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Hello guys, hi. Just waiting for Mr. Hook to join. <laughs> Hello, hi. So Christian, for those of you that don't know Christian's work, we've got some of his works behind me here. These are from the Newton series Sahara collection. So two of his, two iconic works from him, we've got two horses. Oh, is he coming in? Let me see. Christian, are you there? Mm, okay, we'll just talk to you a little bit. We're all very excited for uh, tomorrow. We're opening the galleries back up and we are hoping that, let's have a look, Christian Hook, there he is. Here he comes. Christian. <laughs> Just waiting for Christian to come in. Hello, everybody. We're very excited to see him too. Where is he? So we have the documentary that we're gonna be discussing. Uh, that documentary is something that we haven't seen for a little while. Um, Let's see, sorry, a little technical difficulty. Always happens on the live feed. There we go, perfect. I see him now. He's not very good with technology and neither are we. So we're much more used to face-to-face. -face. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you? Very good, thank you. Good, took a little while to get in here. Well, I try. I was trying pressing all the buttons, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We've just turned our comments off for a little bit so that you can see Christian a little bit better and his lovely apartment with lots of plants in there. How are you? How are you doing? It's been a little while since we've seen you. Yeah, I've been working hard. I've, I've just, as I said, I've just finished the. Yeah, you know, I've just finished the documentary. And we've been recording for a year, so um, you know, in bits and. Um, yeah, I want to hear more. work we've... for that and all that stuff. So it's been very busy, very busy time. Tell me a bit more about this because um, we've heard sort of whispers here and there, and it sounds it sounds like quite an exciting thing that you're doing. Um, some quite groundbreaking stuff as well. You're working with top scientists and exploring something that we have not seen before. That you know, scientists collaborating collaborating with artists. Like, what's what's the theme? Tell me. Yeah, so. I think this uh, is definitely the most important work I've done in, in my life. It's, uh, it's wow. um, an idea that I that I had a long time ago and I wanted to, um, I was working with the idea of time and then, uh, and then I read a book on Carlo Rovelli, a scientist, um, when he, he won an award after uh, Richard, sorry, after Hawkins uh, passed away he was um, nominated like the top, you know, scientist on the universe. So Carlo Rovelli is a yeah. top physicist, yes. And he wrote, he wrote The Order of Time, I remember. You recommended it. He wrote it, he wrote it. Yeah. He wrote, yeah. he wrote yeah. The Order of Time, and I was interested in time. I, I read the book, and then I, and then I actually uh, went to Marseille, and I met him, and um, I asked him that I wanted to work with him in something. You know, I didn't know what yet, but I thought, this is a, an incredible book, you know, mm. the, the information was amazing and what he was saying was amazing really it was uh, like science fiction but in real life so it was incredible. <laughs> and okay. um, and i had this idea where i would i would i wanted to 
basically uh, see the 95% of matter that is invisible to us. So we, can, we only live in 5% of, of matter is what we can see. And the other 95% is invisible. So, so I wanted to get the, all the, well, as many of the top scientists in the world as I could, you know, from different um, uh, fields and ask them to join me in trying to see or help me to see that 95%. So I would be painting a new reality and that's... Um, so so, what, you, so what, but what you are exploring, and this is something that I am really interested in, is you're, you're actually exploring the, the science behind human connection. Yeah? Yeah, well, there's three parts to, to this uh, documentary. So the first one was I wanted to see you know, um, the 95% that's invisible to the eye. And that, that can only have been done uh, now because uh, I know that Dali worked with a scientist. I know that, 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 um, that Van Gogh worked with a scientist. I know that many artists in the past have worked with a scientist for something. But um, never before have we had the internet and we can connect with everyone and talk to everyone and all this stuff. And it's the first time in history, really, that, that you can do this, you know? So I... I was really fortunate that they agreed to all come over to London and we've gone to Italy, we've gone from Canada, they've come over from everywhere. <laughs> and we've used equipment from space, from NASA, from everything um, to try and see that 95% of, 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 of what we can't see. Yeah? Of, but, of that. but of that, then, but yeah. that is of... Then this, but then I had to choose a subject matter for this. I had to choose... Like, okay, so, so where do you want to see that 95%? Yes. So I took a couple that had been together, you know, for many years and um, they'd split up and they'd had children separately and then they got back together and they have like a spiritual relationship now. So they've gone through many things. And I wanted to see the 95% of the matter at what happens between two people. So I wanted to see, right, um, like what all the questions that we ask ourselves all the time, like... Uh, do you stay connected with someone? What is it like, you know, love, does it exist as a something physical? Um, has it got a color or how, what does it look like? What does hate look like? So when people are separate, like from each other, are they still connected? <laughs> and all these questions that everybody wants to know, I just thought, right, let's do it with this. So we took this couple everywhere, like, and we used all the equipment from, from space and from everything, from everything like, for them to try out yeah, normal things like kissing and see what happens and everything happened. Like, so the documentary was, was really um, innovative in, in, in everything, you know, in every way. And it also opened a new pathway for art because for, 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 for this part of it, because, um, because this wasn't possible before. And the idea of, of you know, painting the, the, the the, a reality which is much more real than the one we live in. We live in 5%. So, so to be able to paint the other 95% would have been impossible any other time, uh, you know, previous to now. So it's so, sort of, so sort of exploring what, what is not seen with the eye in terms of how people love each other and how they, and how they connect. Yeah. So it's it basically, it's a, it's, that's the subject that I chose because it's, 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 Right now, there's a lot of mystical stuff. Like, you know, like, you stay connected with, like, about energy. We all talk about it, you know, like, a, yeah. about someone having good energy. Connection. Good vibes, this, yeah. This, yeah. Like, and we don't really know, like, what happened. But, but I was able to see, for example, the color of love, what it looks like. Uh, what color is spot, it? Like, Tell yeah. us what color it is. It's like a deep, um, <laughs> it's like a deep orange. Um, but I mean, I don't want to give anything away because when you watch the documentary, it's, it's, a, it's a really interesting, you know, uh, and the attempts to paint, you know, that reality mixed with the one that we can see um, was really, really something special. So we finished it now and um, Sky have already committed themselves to it. And um, yeah, so it'll be on Sky TV soon. And When? Um, Tell us when. I think that um, the only thing left is I, I had a voiceover. I hate doing voiceovers and I hate, I hate everything to do with that. But, but um, I had the voiceover to do um, now and I, I couldn't fly over. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't possible because you need less than six people and all this stuff. So yeah. as soon as we do the voiceover, it'll be uh, released in the cinema. 
we'll have one day in the cinema, I think, in London, which would be really good. And, and all, uh, obviously all of us at Clarendon Fine Arts are going to get yeah, from, the front row, front row seats. But it is, it is definitely... Um, it is definitely the most important. I mean, I've, I've got works in museums, you know, in the National Galleries. I've, I've done many things that, I, that I'm proud of and that I, I, I think are, you know, special. But, but having, like, to, being able to collaborate with, um, with this network of scientists that, you know, they all have Nobel Prizes. I mean, we even did um, teardrops and, uh, like, the <laughs> scientist that specializes in, in them, right, had uh, said that, you know, you, you have... Uh, uh, when, once you look in the microscope, you can see uh, the emotions that were in you physically inside the teardrop. So each teardrop is a representation of that. So, so to test them, I got an onion and I cut it in half and I put it <laughs> in, in, you know, and I made fake tears and then we tested them. And like the program becomes really interesting. It's like, a, it's like, um, uh, it was a, a really, I think a really special thing. So, um, so it'll be out soon, and I and I think it'll be, um, you know, a, a really, I really enjoyed it. When 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 is it gonna be out? I think it's in spring, so it should be like you know around March or something like that. But I I, I don't know yet because you know this COVID thing is is continuing longer and longer. So you know, like that's what. But I naturally, you're also you have some accompanying paintings that are going to go with them as well. A few. Yeah, a few I did the whole series. Obviously, it's an art pro. It's like basically all the scientists came together so that I could paint like what I cannot see. Like, and what happens between two human beings. Um, but the real stuff, you know, like we tried um, lots of things on it, but it was so surprising because for example, like um, uh, I went into the Imperial College and they had the, the they had these little, uh, uh, what do you call it? This little uh, camera drone sitting in Mars, you know, and they had the control there and I could see them all in the and all the stuff that they had there, you know, for, 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 for space and for this, like we used, we used some of it for people to kiss, for example. That's never been tried. They, they, they never thought of like using, you know, all the headgear and all this stuff to see what happens with that. And the, oh. the results were like, you know, were like surprising to all of us. It was like for the scientists, for me and for everything. So it, it was a really interesting um, development. The program. Really collaborative experience as yeah. well, I imagine. Amazing. So I was able to produce, you know, a set of work, which obviously I, I'll never be able to do again, which was like, you know, it's a collaboration between me and these top scientists, like, you know, for a year of research and, you know, looking at, 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 at and trying to paint that dark matter or that invisible field. And, um, and that made it special, you know? What's not there and what we can't see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wish that you could show us some of it. Um, yeah, can't, no, not I yet. can't, okay, fine, I guess, I guess that's okay. Um, okay. So that's what I've been working on mostly. Um, but now I've got like a, you know, I've, I've been doing some, some sketches really. Yeah. Lots of sketches. <laughs> you say sketches, we don't see sketches. So. Yeah. Um, well, what, what I mean by, I don't mean sketches, but really they're studies. It's just that when I work on paper, I decided to, um, to, uh, you know, um, previously, all the works have been part of a set that had like, you know, uh, uh, it's still part of a set, but like it was all, uh, more, it was more uh, premeditated in the way that like, I wanted everything to connect with each other and all that stuff. But this time it's, it's been on paper. I've just, you know, gone for it with just a, a very light idea and then played with it. And um, I played mostly with, with Gold Leaf because um, when I went to Egypt, I did all this, the, the previous set, the Sahara collection, but I, I didn't yeah. explore gold itself. And um, and when I went to the pyramids, you know, in Egypt, everything the Egyptians just had, you know, lots of gold with everything. So I I sent for <laughs> I sent for for um, lots of different types of gold. I, I sent for gold from from Italy, you know, different types of gold leaf, um, dark golds, and. And I melted it. I've tried lots of different things with it. So, so, so it's on. not so, just okay. it's so not so it's not separate. just gold leaf. You now stuck there. I've, I've tried. I've experimented with it, like on, on mylar on different materials. So you'll see now that, that it's um yeah. 
It's so just... this is so this is of course separate just for our, all of our collectors and friends of yeah. the gallery watching. This is separate to the documentary. Yeah, this is and, separate to the documentary. Yeah. Yes. And um, these, these are you... studies that I've done after my exhibition and after going to Egypt, um, like the you know what I did previously, which was the Sahara collection, which was yeah. inspired by Egypt. Yeah. So yes. I've carried on with that. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, so we had you, of course, um, at the start of the first lockdown yeah. over here in the UK, um, talking about the Newton series Sahara collection, um, whereby you were uh, exploring the how to depict the the sweet, spicy, the smells and the experiences, the sensation yeah. of, um, you know, the desert. And yeah. so this is an extension of that. Yeah. Yes. Basically, this time I've, I've just... I've just concentrated on the other, uh, the, the bit that I didn't have a chance to do, which was the gold. You know, it was a, yeah. If you go to the inside the pyramids, I mean, there's not a lot, lot left to do, but to see there. But um, I did go to also to the Museum of Cairo, and um, you know, there's, there's loads of um, you know everything that Egyptians did, did was uh, covered in gold. So like, um, I just thought like it would be interesting to try it out. So I sent for it, and then I've been you know experimenting with it. And, right. um, yeah, and these are studies because obviously they're done on paper. You know, it's uh, um, they're not canvases. They're not like you know uh, paintings on board. They're oil on on paper. Uh, it's, they started off with a drawing, like a sketch, and then I've left some parts, like you know, like a drawing. And some parts are more developed, and and I've tried the gold leaf um, on that. So you're going to show us now at these yeah. work. Give us. Let's have a look at the works then. So we've right. got four pieces. I, as I understand it, yeah. from the Sahara Gold uh, yeah. collection. It's an extension of uh, the Sahara collection. Let's have a look. So, um, this one is the first piece, the first drawing. So I'm gonna get close to it, let me see. I've gotta turn this around. <laughs> yeah. So basically, if you look, um, when I tilt it down, you can see like, um, can we have a can we have a, a view yeah, back? Of course, yeah. Let's see. So so I'm just gonna go it. right over it so you can see um the whole thing from from near. Um <laughs> you zoom in on the signature. <laughs> and then um so tell me wow. when you can see the whole thing. Just go Shall back I a little go bit. For the back, for the back. Just a little bit back. Right, so... Oh, my word. So, basically, um, you'll see, look, so if I tilt it a little bit or move, you can see how the gold changes colour, you know. Yeah. So, in the light, I can imagine that just the reflections of it would be really, really beautiful. Yeah. It probably changes so, so as we move yeah. around it. So, I, I'll, I'll show you now, like, uh, one at a time, but... Um, so, hi. <laughs> I just have a friend here changing the paintings from one to the other, but um, but yeah, that that one basically the application of the gold leaf as well. It's all broken because I've used a color behind it, so I wanted it to you know to stick. And this one, this next one, um, uh, I used I melted some gold and I tried that first. Um, gosh, oh my yeah. gosh. Um. And also I used a uh, uh, liquid gold leaf instead of, you know, the gold leaf. And it just has a different you know, you know, feel to it. So I'll show you now. So this one wow. is kind of... You can see that's much smoother as well in comparison to the yeah. first one, can't you? The texture of it's beautiful. So... And here we go, stepping back. <laughs> Tell me when you can see those things, is that it? Yeah, perfect. It's beautiful. The light in that is incredible. Yeah. So you see, it's um, this is a different type of gold, and you know, I enjoyed you know, trying it out. And um, all of the sketches, they're pretty, like, I mean, the, the not sketches, they're like uh, studies, but the... Um, the oil on papers work well with the gold leaf and I'm happy with the experiment, you know? And I still have, um, I played around with, they all have this bluish green um, uh, motif on them, but it's because when I did the science program, they told me that my aura or something outside me 
um, with the infrared cameras and all the people there was this color. So that this is like a, so my it's part of you, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. part. Of, like that's what they told me. So I've um, you know, so I've incorporated it in in all of them. That's so interesting because you know all the way th all all through um, the years, this this color is always so vibrant in in your work. Yeah, but I didn't know it. I, so now it's now it's <laughs> it was intentional. calling to you. <laughs> yeah, now it's intentional. I've done it like on purpose. So, um, so I'll show you. I've got one more. Um, large one but this time i tried uh uh bronze like i had to, i tried to get some bronze um um it's not bronze leaf but it's like a kind of a real bronze mix or something um and um it's worked really well like i, I really like this um so i'll show you how wow you see how it how lights up on the leaf yeah um and again, I did the, I love a Japanese um, art. So, you know, I've used yeah. the Japanese ink with the Japanese brushes for most of it. I thought this, then, I thought this had a little bit of a um, yeah, it's, it's similarity like, to the Shodo series. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So you see when I tilt it, like uh, down, it lights up, you see, um, from underneath and, and um, it's so unusual to see these these pieces from you. The kind of the kind of studies that you've um, you know really worked with the material. We, we're so I think in the gallery and the collectors and you know friends of the gallery. We're very used to seeing uh, very finished pieces, big, yeah. huge works. That yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's the first time I've I've, I've basically um, worked on smaller pieces that are. Um, these are more experimental, I guess, because I'm like, you know, looking at, at, at these materials and working on paper. Yeah. But, um, but, really I, but I, yeah, but I, I still, they're still oil based. And um, as, you, as I said, I love using the under palette um, of bronze. It made it like really in this one, for example, really interesting. I never used it before. So it was an interesting um, thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm going to show you now uh, um, a Myla one that I've just done. Uh, and this Myla uh, has about three types of gold. I, I found the dark gold, which is like really, really dark, like, so a, like dark brown gold, for example. And um, and it has maybe three or four different um, types of gold. And it's really, I find it, really, I found this one like, you know, the beginning of something interesting. Look, I'll show you um, yeah. from the first so you can see it. But it, depending on, on where you are, it like lights up. Um, differently so even this dark area here is actually a different type of gold um, and the mylar the mylar sorry the mylar is quite important because you you know this um has something to for you to paint on you you paint you know on the back of it on the front of it and it, and it helps to enhance the sort of layering of your work doesn't it absolutely yeah so i've i've, I've worked on the golds have been done from um on the back of the mylar on this one and um I don't know if you can see it. Like in real life, yeah. it's, it's much later, but like um, as you move around, it just changes, you know? Um, but I'll show you the whole thing. That is, and, oh yeah. my gosh, that's magnificent. See? That's beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> Glad you like it. <laughs> but you see the dark areas, as I said, like if I move up, they get a lot darker and then, you know, they go changing. Yeah, um, and the lights, the natural around, light yeah. as well, I think that will have a really beautiful... Oh, yeah. So that's that one. And then I worked on, um, I've worked on a couple of uh, self-portraits um, because I would never do a self-portrait, like really. You've said that, um, you've said that I've, to I've me. Done, I've done one or two before in my life, but like, um, but really, I, it's not something I don't like. First of all, I don't like doing portraits. Uh, I find them. Yeah, I find them. Don't easy say to that. Do. I find them easy to do, but but I I really um, um, because you have to have the likeness somehow of the person. It's limiting. So I I I I much prefer working on other subjects than the poetry. But um, it is a reflection of this time, which is a real time. Covid is here now, and I've had some self isolation, and you know, and I just didn't have another subject so I had to paint myself well so, we well we haven't I mean for me uh, I haven't seen a self-portrait the, the self-portrait that comes to mind is the piece that you 
um, entered for Sky Arts. So that was back in yeah. 2014. Yeah. Um, so to I had hear to do that, like to enter it, but um, <laughs> but after that, I realised after that that it's not my thing. You know, like it's just not something that um, doing portraits is not something that I enjoy. I just find it like you know, it's something that um, uh, I find easy. It comes easy to me. Like um, but it's not like a. It doesn't allow the freedom that um, that made mm. me question. But like the results, I mean, it's the same thing. I'm working on something that you know that I do. Like th these were, like I don't think I'd do this ever again because um, uh, I did two of them in the last lockdown, and I've done these two now in this lockdown. Yeah. But uh, but it's because it's lockdown. So really, it makes sense in 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 my head. You know, there's a there's a good reason why I've done them and and and. Yeah, they are they're pretty small. It's quite incredible because but, um, they're quite inter introspective. Right, but they're interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, for an um, artist to portrait, I think it's so interesting. You got your new glasses on there? Yeah, yeah. So basically, you know, it's a it, they just works on paper, but I think they're 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 you know um, they have. I didn't like uh, look at like the composition or the size or the. I just went for it, and that's it. it's like a they're a bit more like a raw. Um, and that's like what it looks like from, from wow. this. Wow. So that's the first one. And there's one more that I'll show you now. Um, and they have a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little bit of gold leaf. Yeah, I was going to say that. I felt like I could see a little like, bit of gold leaf. Because I've got like a, that chain, and the glasses have a gold bit there on the side because they really do. Um, so. <laughs> So basically, I just put, added a little bit. And anyway, I had I had this all this um, different gold stuff, so I just used it um, where I thought thought would look good. And um, this is let me just put the last one up. Eagerly anticipating the last time. <laughs> and this one is um is the other. Wow. The portrait and um. I think it reflects like the, that, that time because, um, you know, self-isolation, you can't talk. There's like, a, you know, you can only talk on the phone and it's a, that's why I think I've covered like you know, a part of my face because it's, um, it's just a reflection of, of this exact time. It's not just, um, you know, I, I thought I'd do something that means something to me. And, um, and that, yeah, it's I been think very challenging I'm... for a lot of us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. So yeah, that's that's the last um, self portrait. So, and that's about it. So. <laughs> that's about it, huh? Just that's that. about it. <laughs> Just that. So I'll show you here. A second. So there they are. All. You see. Wow. You can see you can see the gold shimmer as it sort of goes across. That it's beautiful. These works are incredible. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, thank you so much for showing those on, on the live feed. We, um, now I need to call on my cameraman to uh, work her way across to me because we're going to just show a couple of the pieces that we have behind us here. Right. Um, these are, of course, from the Newton series Sahara collection. Yep. I'll move out of the way. We've got over here, this is Arabian Six. This is a hand signed limited edition piece just here. We talked through these, didn't we, on the last live feed? Yeah. Lovely work. See the hand embellished. And then hand signed. And this one is. In a bit nearer. So oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. get nearer. Nearer for Christian. He needs to see his work. <laughs> yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. They're beautiful. We've uh, they're hand embellished with the gold leaf. And then moving across, we have Arabian Seven. I love the blue of this piece. Gorgeous. Not almost that blue that you said was the was your colour. Yeah. yeah. You see that, you see that turquoise on there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's incredible, really. That like um, you know they told me that that I have like some, you know, like we all have colors, you know, that we can't see um, coming out of our, you know, of our, they call it aura, many people yeah. call it 
different things, but um, but you know, it's just like a. I'd be so interested to know what my color is. Yeah. Should do like a test. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, of course, Arabian one, a larger piece, an edition of ninety five. Yeah. I love this one. It's good that one. Yeah. <laughs> Does it? If you say so my yourself. My signature's up <laughs> the wrong way round. What happened there? <laughs> well, you signed it. <laughs> and maybe it's maybe it's the camera, I don't know. Like Oh yeah, no, probably. And then we have the last one which is Arabian Five. This one's my favourite. I love the movement in this. It's like a tornado. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. Another edition of ninety five. So much movement in this one. Hmm. Perfect. So we'll just bring you back. Cameraman did a great job. Well done, well done. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, I mean, thank you so much, Christian, thank for you. sharing those works with us. I thank think you, no problem. we're all very excited to see them in the flesh, of course. Um, and not only that, we're very excited to have you back in the, ga in the galleries again. We miss you. <laughs> thank you <laughs> i haven't been able to you know i haven't been able to be in london this year like much you know because of the covid thing mm. and um but i think that i'll have a an exhibition in the spring at some point with all the work from the documentaries and, uh, and we can finally that's see gonna it. Be, that's gonna be exciting that. that's gonna be incredible i can't i cannot wait to see that and um oh. fantastic well then from all well Actually, should there be any, anyone want to chat a little bit further about the works that we that Christian has um, shown us on there and the new collection that went live today uh, of limited edition works, then just, of course, give your local dealer a call. One of the galleries would be delighted to have a chat with you and welcome you back to the galleries tomorrow. Um, and Christian, Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to all of you too. <laughs> And to everybody watching, thank you so much and have a very Merry Christmas. We'll thank see you. you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.